Good morning, how are you today? To be honest, I'm absolutely shattered. It's like half past nine-ish now and I've just woken up again. Uh, because, well, I say again because I went to sleep maybe like at 11 for an hour or so and then I woke up at 12. There was kind of like a little earthquake, I thought it was a little earthquake and then I couldn't go back to sleep until maybe half, yeah, half past five, six o'clock, something like that. So I was awake like all through the night. I don't know whether I was worried about this whole volcano situation. If you don't know, Mount Agung on Bali is has been raised, the threat level has been raised to a level four, which means a uh, eruption is imminent. And then like I was lying in bed and at five o'clock, we have these glass doors here and they would just like start to shake. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> so I thought, I don't know, is it wind or is it, but no, I've just been reading the, um, news and yeah there was another earthquake it's kind of we just had another one now like 10 minutes ago so it's very kind of shaky <laughs> at the moment um i think honestly i'm not gonna lie i'm quite nervous about the situation and i think over the last couple of days we've been saying that we're just gonna kind of wait it out there is no news at the moment i think people have been evacuated from like 12 kilometers around we're in Ubud, which i just looked is about 40 kilometers away from the volcano and so at the moment everyone here is just kind of going about their daily business and there is no warnings to evacuate or anything i had thought about potentially booking a flight out today but i do feel like if it's going to erupt i feel like it's going to erupt today and i don't want to book a flight and obviously if it erupts there'll be volcanic ash in the air and flights won't be able to take off and stuff so I'm kind of in one of them where I think we're just waiting it out here in Upwood and seeing what happens. Obviously, if we're told to evacuate, I feel like we're far away enough from the volcano that we shouldn't be affected, other than like these little earth um, earthquakes that we're getting. But I mean, I don't know. Obviously, I don't know. We'll just wait and say, I did book another night here, like in the middle of the night. Um, I don't even know. God knows what I did in the middle of the night. But I did book another night here in the middle of the night um and i guess we kind of just go about our day today i am feeling really nervous about it like i said but fingers crossed you know all will be good and everyone will be safe and you know we're safe here in upward and i can say it won't erupt but i think it's probably kind of yeah i think it's gonna erupt today if i'm quite honest but we'll wait and see I'm glad we didn't travel north. We were gonna go to Ahmed, which is reasonably really quite near. It's in the north. The volcano is in the northeast, and Ahmed is on the northeast coast. And I don't think it's in within 12 kilometers. But I'm just glad we didn't go up there. I think I'll be feeling very very nervous right now if we were over in Ahmed, rather than just my little bit of nervous that I'm feeling here in Ubud. But the weather has been all through the night. It was uh, rainy and stormy. And I think that's going to continue today, to be honest. We've not got particularly wonderful weather. So I don't know what we're doing today. We're kind of in the hand of the gods to sort of see what happens, I suppose. This is all new to me, this whole earthquake, natural disaster thing. Like, I've no clue. Growing up in England, we didn't have anything like this. Don't know what to do with myself. So it's been about 20 minutes or so since I last spoke to you, I think. And in that 20 minutes, I've had a shower decided that we're just gonna leave Bali and started packing up. We haven't got a flight or anything, but as you, you know, I think situations like this, you have to go with your gut and my gut is telling me to try to just get a flight out. I like, I said to Stephen, I'm pretty sure that upboard or like we wouldn't be affected, but I don't want to be here to be honest. I just want to leave. And so we are leaving and I just had a look at flights. There's a flight at 10 past two to KL. Um, I don't know at the moment we're just gonna pack up head to the airport and see what flight we can get the options are probably KL Bangkok is reasonably expensive so maybe not Bangkok maybe Singapore I'm not sure at the moment the chances are it'll probably be KL but I'm nearly packed and um, what time is it now it's about an hour and 58 minutes okay it's 10 past 12 past 10 uh, three hours and yeah so I mean it takes a while to get to the airport um, but yeah I'm gonna pack up and we're gonna leave we're all packed, we're heading off, trying to find a taxi, it shouldn't be too difficult. There's, a, there's always people along this street asking if you want a taxi. We've got a taxi, 300 we're going to pay. I'm happy with that. We've arrived. 
arrived at the airport. It is half 11-ish now, so we've made it here in good time, so we should be able to get the 10 past. Wow, look at this, by the way. How amazing is that? Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, we did. That's where we come out. Yeah, that's the uh, arrivals. It feels very strange arriving at an airport and not actually having a flight. Let's go and I don't know whether I'm better to book it online or just to go to a thing. And maybe we'll just book it online at 10 past two uh, to Kuala Lumpur we're going. I was going to book it in the uh, car but I thought best not just in case traffic is chaos or whatever. It's slightly later than I thought, it's 12 o'clock. I've actually no idea where you would go in an airport to book a flight if I'm quite honest. So I'm just going to sit here, try and book it online. This is a new travel experience, trying to book a flight. Um, I can't connect to the Wi-Fi on my... Uh, I can't connect to the airport Wi-Fi. Maybe I'll just do it on my phone, so I've got a sim and everything. I'm trying to do it on my Mac because it was like easier, but I can't. I hate booking flights, they're the best of times. And um, this is not the best of times, to be honest. I feel a little bit of stress, I'm not going to lie. We need to go through. It's like, what time is it? 10 past 12 now. The flight's at 20 past 2, so we're all right with that. Right, this is bye, Barley. Bye, Barley. You've been good. It would have been nice to stay longer, but you stupid volcano ruined it for us. <laughs> we're all checked in. We need to go through security and then something to eat, yeah? We're so hungry. <laughs> so hungry. We had, we had, uh, what time is it now? 12.43. We had breakfast included at our hotel because it was just such a, like, uh, right, let's leave. We didn't get it in the end. Uh, we're through security and everything. Food is what we're doing now. Desperately. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. Just see what there is. We've no idea. We're about to board. getting on the plane our seats are 33d and 33f which we're hoping means we've got a whole row to ourselves because that's like f is a window seat and d is an aisle seat and yeah. so hopefully i've got the whole aisle yeah you wouldn't have just put someone in the middle i wouldn't and have thought specific. yeah we'll wait and see yeah, but that's okay. it barley goodbye it's, it's been good i wish we could have stayed longer but we knew that it is a big plane it's, I think it's Whoa. a three hour, it's all been a kind of little that's bit mad size rush. Of yeah, that's two nine nine and um is it the size of a plane? Yeah, oh yeah, oh it is a big one. That isn't our plane though. No, that's not this is our plane. But yeah, it's a three hour. You are right, it is a huge, huge plane. Now look, D, F and D centre and aisle because it's a bigger plane no window seat don't be expecting any nice I mean, air shots from Lee and Bali today because you won't be getting any I don't think I've ever not had a window on a plane never mind safety features may differ from other aircrafts we ask for your full attention to the cabin crew in front of you firmly towards you
maybe I will edit. We're just like looking for something to watch. We've got downloaded on Netflix. Jane, Jane, Jane the Virgin. We've watched Jane the Virgin. I've got five episodes of that. We're not organised for this plan. This um, trip because obviously we didn't know we were doing. Have you watched that yet? No, I haven't watched that actually. Well, oh, yeah, because we've got like a few episodes of things. We'll be like on the go for days. We don't know what we're doing when we get to KL. We've just arrived in KL. We still don't know what we're going to do. I think we're going to try and get a flight tonight back home from Manchester. Possibly is the plan at the moment. But we'll have to see how much they cost. We're always the last off the plane, aren't we? Oh, it's falling over. I'm not going to well, welcome to KL. Bet you didn't think again. we'd be here. Yeah, again. This is yeah. our third time, I think. Fourth time. Oh. I'm not entirely sure. Oh. How many times we've been to KL now? But I don't think we're even going to step foot outside, just to be quite honest. But let's go through uh, immigration and everything, and then we'll uh, get hooked up to Wi Fi and try and book a flight yes. out of here. Whoa, right. Whoa, look at this crazy big long escalator. It's like so big. We got our bags sorted. Okay, I've just got my map out and I'm looking at flights out of KL back to the UK. And there is a flight tonight, but it's like £800 each or something ridiculous amount of money. So we're not going to do that. I've checked, we've got internet there's good internet at the airport so we can stream stuff and everything and there's two flights tomorrow we can go at half past nine tomorrow morning or half past nine tomorrow night and to be honest with you, like we're not going to go to a hotel or do anything we're just going to stay at the airport right like, yeah we're not going to go anywhere it's just we don't want to to be honest um half past nine tomorrow morning flight is 330 pounds each the half past nine tomorrow night it's two hundred and fifty pounds each, so it's an extra eighty pounds to go in the morning. But I mean, I don't. We don't want to be hanging around in the airport like over twenty-four hours, do we? I mean, I could. I mean, I could just watch movies all day. Could just watch movies all day. Mm. I was going to say we've decided on the half past nine tomorrow morning. But we have. There's only the layover. These the flight is KL to Muscat which is kind of like United Arab Emirates, that area. Um, there's a one hour, 35 minute layover there. So there's no long layover, so that's pretty good. And then we arrive in Manchester, four past seven on Sunday evening. So maybe we do that. If we were to do the tomorrow night one. <laughs> We'd arrive in Manchester Monday evening. We've got that's a 13 hour um No thank you. That's a 13 hour um layover. So we don't really want to be doing a 13 hour layover, we kinda of just so we'd have to stay in the airport for an extra 12 hours. Plus have an extra 12 hours layover. So is it worth 80 pounds each? Not do that. You save on like 24 hours. It's eight. So tomorrow morning. There's no flight straight there. There's no flight straight to Manchester. Maybe stop. That Seb, Seb, whatever oh. it's called. That um, one hour. Oh no, hang on, I'm looking at the wrong one. That's tomorrow night. Tomorrow morning, half past nine. It stops in Muscat Seb. C, but I don't know how you say it. Um, For one hour, 35 minutes. Do that. So we stay the night in the airport. Looks like we stay the night in the airport. Okay, fingers crossed. It's gonna work. It's taking a long time. That's a good thing though, maybe that it's taken a while. <gasps> there we go, your trip to Manchester tomorrow morning. So we ended up paying £640. Go away, what is this? I did get some cash back. Not a massive amount, but a little amount. I always use whatever I book online, whether it's hotels, flights, anything. 
um, I always check if oh, I'm gonna. <coughs> I always check if they're on topcashback.co.uk and if they are then I just like click through and then I get I get some cash back. So it will cost me a little bit less than £640. I always leave that link down below as well so if you wanted to join like you'll get some money if you sign up with that link down below topcashback.co.uk. If you wanted to do that like it's dead good like I save like loads of money, not save. I always like get back quite a bit of money from all the hotels and the things that we booked that I would have been spending the money anyway but I get the money back. But anyway, all booked, done. Let's check that I've got an email. Right, all sorted, all done, booked, confirmed and everything, got an email. We're going over to the main terminal now, KLIA 1. Uh, we're in KLIA 2 at the moment, I think. Yes, you said that we're in KLIA, yeah. 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 So we're gonna go over there, our flight's at half past nine. How is it? The um, flight's at nine o'clock, half past nine tomorrow morning. It's seven o'clock now. I'm gonna kind of message home and everything and let them know what the deal is. I have to like put on Facebook what I was doing, but I'll just message people. Let them know that we will be, I'm kind of excited and pissed off and everything. Oh, Stephen's really excited. Yeah, I don't bet you are. So would you home UK time, maybe like half, would I say half past seven? Must be like half past seven tomorrow night, so Sunday we night. Be you'll, be, no. you'll be shattered, but you're not going to go to bed, are you? No. No? <laughs> no. I don't know what I feel. I'm excited like, to be going home. We had all day to like do stuff. It'll be the morning to you though, kind of, because we've gone back yeah. seven hours, so. I'm going to try and sleep in the flight. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot, Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, anyway, right, we're gonna go over. We've got internet, we've got good Wi Fi. Hopefully, we can find somewhere over near the other terminal with good Wi Fi. Well, we'll just move around. We've got good Wi Fi, right? Right, um, right let's go. KLIA Airport, to be honest, is so big, it's like a shopping centre. We could easily have killed time until um, tomorrow. We found it. There's a free shuttle bus, yeah, shuttle bus. Go straight on, shuttle bus to KLIA. Straight ahead. Oh yes, we found it. Yeah. Bus, the fire. I mean, I don't know. We need to go down to level one anyway, right? Oh, are they? Oh look, at least we got to see a nice little pink sky. Yeah, can you see the plane? It's turning. It is turning. It is turning. We're just waiting for our shuttle bus. I'll help. Yeah, I'll help. Yeah, I think we found our uh, spot for the evening. This actually looks really comfortable. Like the seats. This is going to be one of the best night sleeps we've had at an airport. I reckon. Hopefully, no, fingers crossed. No, no, no. Yeah. But they're movable as well, so we can like move them in, and then we can set up like the iPad or whatever and watch a movie. I think I'm going to end it here for tonight. It's half past ten. I didn't realise it had gotten so late. We've got our little beds kind of sorted here. We've pushed our um, chairs together. And uh, we're gonna go to sleep. We've got flights at half nine tomorrow morning, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get a good night's sleep. I don't think it's gonna be that good, to be honest, because we, uh, like, we're right by the doors and it's like quite busy, and the airport doesn't kind of close down. It's 24 hour airport, so we'll just see what happens. And then, um, yeah, see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs>